Welcome to the Solar Car Challenge. It's all about the education. This is not just building a car where you have a pedal to the metal type of deal. We teach kids how to build a car, how to engineer it, and then safely drive it. They're being taught about electricity and all the mechanics behind vehicles. We want them to think safe through their life. The overall goal of the Solar Car Challenge is a hands-on activity. It's all about learning, it's, which is the fun part of this event. Not many people in the country can say they've been on a solar car team or helped build a solar car. During this race, it has taught us a lot about togetherness. This is a really tight-knit solar car group. We started off like as strangers in the beginning, and I think the summer has brought us definitely a whole lot more closer. It brought us closer as a family, and it gave me just a whole new experience, and I learned a lot. It encompasses engineering, it encompasses science, it encompasses trigonometry, mathematics, physics. It helps so much with physics, it's not even funny. We kind of sneak it in and the students don't even know that they're doing it. The students learn a whole lot from this, this project. They learn how to do fundraising, they have to design their own uh, electrical system and wire it themselves and they get real world job skills that they can use. All of our drivers on our team are ham radio certified. Every, actually, every member of our team is ham radio certified. We required of our kids to get there so they can talk on our radios whether they're in the car or talking on the other part. This is a unique experience for me because you see what happens when you apply what I learned in the classroom in real life. This is a cool real world experience. It's a good resume builder and you learn a lot of useful skills. I've learned anything to do with wiring. I learned how to make schematics. I learned how to solder and wire. It's been a lot of learning, a lot of fun, a lot of struggles, but it was great. That's why they call it the brain sport because anybody could get out there and just drive the car. It's learning how to use that car. These guys have built something from the ground up and it's the pride that they do. And it's, I see the kids have done it. <laughs> and that's what's neat to see that they've really put themselves into these vehicles. The whole year I've just been like, mom, I can't wait, I can't wait. I planned my entire summer around this trip because I was so excited to be able to do this. It's not like, oh, got to win competition. This is all like a huge learning experience where we all just figure out how to overcome it like, and think around it. Because this, this type of stuff happens in life. We had brought two cars over here, and one had broke down completely. And you know, but that didn't stop us. You know, we still have one car, and so we wanted to keep pushing and striving forward. And you know, there's going to be ups and downs throughout your entire journey. But you know, to get to the rainbow, you have to go through the rainstorm. I feel like I've tried my best, and our car is running and it's competing really well with the top teams. When I got in the car, and they closed the canopy, I just felt like I was in my own little world. The groups work together, and even though it's somewhat of a competition. If one group needs help, another group's more than willing to, to help weld or help them with electrical. And so it's, it's a team effort to, to hopefully raise the whole group. Everybody here is so nice. They're always willing to help you whenever you need help. Right we're also, you know, lifting each other up and bringing out the friendships and the diversity of everything. And we're learning from one another and it's just an amazing experience. It's our last day of racing and I know we can get through it, right? I've enjoyed getting to know you more than you know. I respect you. I honor you for what you've done. Right now, we're still tired. Five minutes from now, we'll be sweaty. Two weeks from now, this will be the best thing you've ever done. Take great confidence in yourself because you've earned it. Just thrilled to have the solar team here stop over in Waco. We're inspired by all these young people that are so dedicated and so committed and have such good parental and school support. It's really encouraging to us. You know, when they go to college, they say, well, I've built a car. <laughs> Not many kids can go to college saying those sort of things. We've got a lot of future engineers in our group. It's, it's just amazing to be able to learn this at a young age and have these skills for life. Now I'm going into engineering. I came into this wanting to be an electrical engineer. So we're building tomorrow's engineers today. Five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, guys.